Hey, Officer O'Leary here, back again with Coaster Velocity, and today we are at Busch Gardens Tampa. The Food and Wine Festival is currently going on, but it's only Thursday through Sunday, I believe. But we're gonna head over and do Iron Gwazi first thing. It's right over here. It says it's got about a 35 minute wait, but it's uh, currently down. I don't know if they're gonna let us in line or not. Tossed. Right. Uh, you're gonna get tossed. Oh, whoa! <laughs> the last like three ejector hills are trying to kill you. Oh my God. Like you go up and there's those two that are kind of leveled out right next to each other. And then at the end of the second one, it's just like, oh! I think that first one is like, <laughs> Oh my God, we just got off the back row of Iron Gwazi. That was insane. Uh, the back left row is, in, uh, the back left seat is especially insane uh, oh, because yeah. you go into the, there's a wave turn right next to the station. And if you're sitting in that back left seat, you get thrown. And the, ride, the outer bank hill. The, oh, yeah, the outer bank hill toward the end of the ride. You get the, there's so many crazy ejector airtime moments on Iron Gwazi. It's it's definitely my number one without any contest. Even even Velocicoaster can't top this. What do you think? Yo, that's my number one. But yeah, that's the number one right there. Oh man, we're gonna come back and ride it a little bit later. But it's pretty busy, and we need more roller coaster credits. So we're gonna go find our next roller coaster. I think it might be Tigris because that's sort of in this area. I am well aware. Is that phone water resistant? It's waterproof. <laughs> waterproof. I'm scared, y'all. Okay. It, it actually feels like this is my third time. Have fun. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, All right, we're in line for Tigris. Oh, that was the end of the ride. Oh, shit. Oh. I already went down a click. Damn it. Yep. Do you hear that? <laughs> that. I hate these rides. Oh, ow. Another click. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I keep riding this? Why I hate to ride? It's an orangutan. 
Check out its hair, the fur, it's crazy. It looks like a Wookiee. <laughs> it does look like a Wookiee. Oh, this is a Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I mean, obviously everybody loves Chick-fil-A. And this is like one of the few opportunities that you can get it without having to wait in a huge line or paying for it on DoorDash. So if you're here and it's not Sunday, that's there. <laughs> I didn't notice a queue time back there, but it seems to have a bit of a line. There is a thing over there. It says it's got about a 30 minute wait. That's not terrible, but we want to prioritize time and we have a return time to come back and ride a uh, Rossi. Let's go. Wow, this is so pretty. This looks like it was recently uh, repainted and stuff. Very nice. However, I gotta say, like, the arcade machines and stuff could, could go go away. I don't like that like crap. They don't really need that here. I called you the Black Thor. <laughs> I do not approve that selfie. Bro, I just want to put my head down. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what the f Oh my god, what the hell? Oh no, they're not. No, 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 these kids. Oh, that was a fun ride. Too bad we got stuck in front of these freaking crazy kids in line. They kept calling him uh, Black Thor. Definitely uh, like a couple of weird kids. I don't know what the hell just happened there. Uh, so yeah, Black Thor, did you have fun there? <laughs> Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> they're cool. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he's putting on a show. He's like, yeah, I like this attention. <laughs> This 
dude's on like FaceTime. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're actually sent me. 200 plus second dish bed. Oh my god. Oh yeah, here we go. Woo! Front row, I'm so excited. Look how it almost valleys right here. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh my God. Whoa. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, we just got off Iron Quasi in the front row that time. That was really good in the front. I love the views and like the the way that the elements flow into each other. It's just like it's just such a good ride. I really love this thing. You have a good ride? Oh yeah, I love this. My number one. <laughs> yeah, we gotta ride it more. Steel Vengeance has been deep Yeah, R.I.P. Steel Vengeance says number one. I don't know. I think a lot of people are gonna have that that thought too. Right here at the entrance to Cobra's Curse, it says it has about a 15 minute wait. Let's get on. It's definitely one of the best themed rides that they have here at Busch Gardens. I want to ride the elevator lift down. It goes really fast going down. Right. Oh, no, I guess it goes the same speed. Oh, it looked like it was going really fast. You probably can go faster. It's like the ultimate drop track. That'd be crazy. That would be wild. Yes! Yes! What is it doing? <laughs> Whoa. It's like, yes.
the hell was that? Kind of a fun ride. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's a nice little ride. A little shorter than I expected. Yeah. It's good. I like it. One thing I learned about this park is it's hella confusing. There's so much going on. Oh, wait. We're heading back to the last coaster credit that I need besides the Wild Mouse Coaster and the Kids Coaster. We're going to skip on those this trip. We just don't have time. The park closes in about 30 minutes and we still have to ride Kumba, which is the B&M sit-down coaster. That's really forceful. We're gonna go ride that. And then uh, we're gonna go back and ride Iron Gwazi, hopefully. Hopefully we can get all that done, I don't know. But yeah, we're just barely getting all this in. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's too bad. We're gonna have to miss out on Falcon's Fury. This ride looks really good. Oh well, next time. This park really has a lot to do. Definitely gonna need a retrack soon though. Uh, it's gonna need some type of retrack soon though. Yeah, I was, I was thinking to myself, God, if this thing feels like it's pretty rough. Uh, yeah, it's apart. it's rough for BNM, yeah. Like at the bottom in all the valleys, it's like uh, it's rough. It's like yeah. wow, yeah. It's hard to describe it. It's pretty rough. It's getting to the point where it's almost jackhammery. Yeah, there's rumors that they're gonna try to remove this soon. I don't know if they're gonna do that. They might, they might retrack it. Maybe, maybe make it a floorless coaster. I don't know if they'll do that. Just that high rider. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I guess so. Great ride though. We just got off Kumba. That was pretty good. I really, really liked that. I have a high tolerance for rough coasters. That's probably why I like it a lot. It's definitely showing its age. They they either need to retrack it soon or remove it and build something else. I don't know. It's, it's really good and I love the layout. It's a great, great ride. It's just too bad that it's really rough now. Look at that. It was fun though, I love this ride. Such an aesthetically pleasing ride too. It's got the interlocking loop going through the lift hill. It's got the interlocking corkscrews. Yeah, we are currently hustling our way back toward Iron Gwazi from Kumba, which is all the way in the back corner of the park. And Iron Gwazi is all the way in the front part of the park. So it's like literally a crazy long walk. 
We've already been walking for about 10 minutes or so, and we have seven minutes before, no, Siri, ser no, damn it. We have seven minutes before the park closes, I think. Oh, God, we made it. Oh, yeah. Minimum verified. <laughs> yeah! All right. Man, this ride's so violent. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah! Jesus. That's like the that's, that's like amazing. the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Right. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my Those last two hills was like pulling you out so hard. Dude. Dude. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Huh? What the? Oh. Oh my god. I, think just kept on ah. I want to ride it more, but the park's closing. <laughs> oh my god! We just got off Iron Gwazi for the last time. This trip, that was amazing. Oh my God, what the hell? Yeah. Especially toward the end of the ride. The ride feels like it's just trying to kill you with the ejector. The ejector airtime is absolutely the most insane thing I've ever felt in my life. More more than any other RMC I've ever been on. And RMCs are known for really crazy airtime. Did you have a good last ride? Oh, I loved it, that was great. Wow, yeah. Back row, left side, probably the best seat on that just because that wave turn right here next to the station, it just tosses you out of your seat, like totally forceful, sideways, crazy ejector airplane. Absolutely amazing. Love it to death. I think the best part about that thing is that they don't actually push down on your restraint at all if they don't have to. There's a screen that tells you where the restraint needs to be. It's like a whole like diagram of the seats and once it, once it turns green, it doesn't have to go down any further. So the, the attendants don't push down. It's great. You get so much air time. <laughs> I guess we're walking to the car. That sucks. That's the tram line to get uh, to the back of the parking lot. Oh well. We're walking out of Bush Gardens now, you can't see me because it's kind of dark. But we had an excellent day. Oh my God, we got on a lot of rides. We got on Iron Gwazi like two or three times, I think. Three times, maybe, uh, twice, maybe, I don't know. We got on it, that's all that matters. We ended our night on it in the back, which is amazing. It's such a good ride. But we got on all the other rides that we wanted to today. Thanks for watching. Any other last nerds? Um, come to Bush Gardens, it's great. Yeah, come to Bush Gardens and SeaWorld. And subscribe to Coastalocity right. and his Instagram. Thanks for watching, peace out. This dude's on like FaceTime. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> I missed it. They actually sent me a drink. <laughs>